I know and I understand all the trading mechanics at Tasty, but I still get emotional. And at times I make emotional trades. How long did it take for you to master taking emotion out of your trading decisions? <laughs> Have you seen our bond position? I don't know if you ever get over it. I mean, but you do learn that size kills and you've come up with the phrase years ago, you never realized how big small really is. So maybe you stay stubborn, but it's a lot smaller and it's much more manageable. I don't think you ever get out. Right. You know, like you guys have seen us now on air for 13 years. We're very emotional about- We make the same mistakes over and over again. Yeah, listen, we take it all in stride. Like we don't let it linger. We don't let it take us down. We don't let it beat us up. I mean, we'll bitch and moan. You know, that's what we're like. We like to complain about stuff like that. And we mm -hmm. hate losing. So we'll definitely cry a little bit and bitch. And it makes us mad. But I don't think you can ever take emotion out. But if you make enough trades, you learn to internalize it and just keep moving on. Like, I've always been a little bit more emotional about my trades than, let's say, like Scott. Scott's like, you couldn't tell if, if he just made or lost a million dollars. You'd have no idea. Tony, you can tell. Me, you can tell. Yep. So, just is what it is.